Hi viewers and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at the Swan Hunter Shipyard. The Swan Hunter Shipyard located on the River Tyne in Newcastle, England has a long and storied history of building some of the largest and most advanced ships in the world. The yard was founded in the late 19th century and quickly established itself as a leader in the industry building everything from cargo ships and ferries to naval warships. In the years that followed, the shipyard faced many challenges, including economic downturns and the changing nature of the shipping industry. But the workers at Swan Hunter never gave up and they continued to build ships, including the famous HMS Ark Royal, the largest aircraft carrier in the world at the time. So let's take a look at the rise and fall of one of the greatest shipbuilders in the world. Swan Hunter was one of the most famous shipyards in the world. Founded in 1880, the company united three powerful shipbuilding families, Swan, Hunter and Wigan Richardson. Aircraft carriers, passenger liners, cargo liners, ferries, icebreakers, destroyers, frigates and submarines and other vessels were constructed by Swan's skilled workforce. Its yards at Wall's End and Walker would build more than 1,600 ships among them and some of the most notable vessels in seafaring history, as well as the Mauritania and the RMS Carpathia, which rescued survivors from the Titanic in 1912, was also a Swan's built vessel. Among the ships built at the yard which fought in World War II were HMS Sheffield and HMS Victorious, both of which took part in the 1941 sinking of the mighty German battleship, the Bismarck. In the late 1960s into the 1970s saw the launch of a series of super tankers, such as the SO Northumbria and the World Unicorn, the biggest vessels ever built on the river. The aircraft carriers Ark Royal and Illustris were also constructed by Swans, the latter finally being decommissioned in 2014. The company owned three main yards. The Neptune Yard at Walker on Tyne, inherited from Wigan Richardson, opened in 1860 and closed in 1988. The Walls End West Yard at Walls End, inherited from Charles Sheridan Swan, opened in 1842 and closed in 2006. And the Naval Yard at High Walker, inherited from Vickers Armstrong, opened in 1912 and closed during the 1980s. In 2000, Swan Hunter was awarded the contract design and build two auxiliary landing ships for the Royal Navy. By July 2006, the cost had risen to £309 million and only one ship had been delivered. As a result of this, the second ship... The RFA Lime Bay was transferred to another shipyard for completion. 
In November 2006, after the failure to complete Lime Bay within budget and the resultant exclusion from future Royal Navy shipbuilding projects, Swans announced that the business was effectively finished and placed the Walls End Yard's iconic cranes up for sale. In April 2007, Swan Hunter's cranes, along with its floating dock and other equipment, were sold to India's second largest private shipbuilders. The entire plant machinery and equipment from Swan Hunter was dismantled and transported to India over six months to be rebuilt. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Um, so on that note, keep on living, laughing and loving and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.